the best theme team and the best abilities of Madden 24. Want to do a little update video for you guys about this. Now, this card just came out today, and it literally changes everything about Madden 24. And the reason why is because of the abilities that we can put on CJ Stroud. I tweeted about this. I said CJ Stroud literally will end Madden 24. It certainly does from the offensive perspective. Now, there's still a lot to be done defensively to this game, but by and large, I'm going to talk about the best ability stack on defense as well that you can be using. So just kind of stay tuned to that. I want to talk just quickly about why CJ Stroud ends this game. CJ Stroud has one of the best two releases in the game. That is traditional two. The best two releases in this game are traditional two and traditional four. Traditional two is the Joe Burrow or the CJ Stroud release. Traditional four is the Lamar Jackson release, which is what William Perry had and, Lam and uh, Andrew Luck had, okay? So uh, once they release a card like CJ Stroud, what's really unique about CJ Stroud is he gets Hot Rod Master for one AP, Set Feet Lead for five AP for a total of six. He gets Gunslinger for two AP for a total of eight, which is what we have on offense. And then he gets Gift Wrapped for zero AP. So he literally gets all of the important and essential and critical abilities to be effect at the, to to run your offense at the highest level of effectiveness in this game. You will see every single pro player using this quarterback until a quarterback comes out that either gets a better version of the abilities with the same throwing release or a quarterback that gets the same ability stack that you can see here with the traditional four release, which is the Lamar Jackson, Andrew Luck, or William Perry. So hopefully Lamar Jackson gets a card. If Lamar Jackson gets a card with these same ability stacks, that's basically all we're waiting for at this point. But this is truly the best quarterback in the game. It's not even close. That's why he's so expensive. He's worth every single penny because once you get C.J. Stroud, it will completely change your offense. It will make you be you you will be able to access all of the routes while still having the best release, while still having the best stack in the game. That being set feet lead, gunslinger, and gift wrap. So this is truly the best. This is the best offensive card in the game. Okay. Now they also released this week a Calvin Johnson card. I actually don't have him. Uh, and the main reason why is because you literally can't buy him. And so because you can't buy him, that's the problem. But I did want to talk about theme team. This just leads me to touching on the theme team real quick. The one drawback to Calvin Johnson was that he didn't have any route chemistries. Same thing with Hayward Bay. Doesn't have slot apprentice for one AP or anything. Rasheed Rice was kind of the stopgap getting us there. But now what we're able to see here is on a 50 out of 50 Ghost of Mutt theme team, a receiving threat, which actually I don't know why. I don't know why am I not 99 speed or 98 speed yet. Did I take somebody? Oh, I forgot to put the chemistry on Derrick Henry. So Derrick Henry obviously makes this a lot better because he gets the times two. And his price actually just dropped significantly with the with the latest market thing. Now, ultimately what EA is going to try to do, okay, is they're going to try to get everybody to switch over to the 50 out of 50 or the 60 out of 60 Mutt 24 playoff theme team. Let me just be the first one to tell you, as of right now, you don't have to do that. Now, if you're playing in the MCS, you're playing in the Madden Bowl, you need the best possible team. Yeah, maybe they will be the best possible team, but the change and the slight, they're, they're only going to be slight improvements from here on out. And the main reason why is because on a 50 out of 50 Ghost of Mutt future theme team, which Calvin John Johnson gets that theme team. You have Hayward Bay here with 98 speed. Calvin Johnson is going to have 99 speed. And then uh, Deion Sanders, he has 98 speed as well. So you have all of your speeds are pretty much top tier in game speed in game the best speed you can pretty much get in this game as far as I know is 99 speed. Sometimes they they do over 100 stats. They haven't done that in a long time. So 99 speed is the best speed that you can possibly attain. And so you get the best speed that you can possibly attain to all three of your receivers, which is why this theme team is so good on the offensive side of the ball. You also get Derrick Henry uh, with this little angry runs X factor, which is super good. So literally all you have, if you look at my abilities here, very simple. CJ Stroud with dots. What dots does is it takes away inaccurate passes, gift wrap, Gunslinger, set feet lead, hot route master. Best quarterback in the in the game, best ability stack in the game that you can have. And then I just have yak him up on Deion Sanders and return man for zero AP. And I have persistent and angry runs on Derrick Henry. Very simple setup, but that literally solves offense in this game. Offense was already really good. It just got a lot better with the release of CJ Stroud because now you can run any offense, any formation, have access to all the routes, and it literally ends the game on the offensive side of the ball in my opinion. 
Now let's talk about defense and what they can do to actually uh, what what kind of abilities you want to be looking out for defensively as new cards come out, what you're really optimizing for. And really what you're optimizing for in this year's game is your outside corners. If you can stack these two abilities, it will 10 times uh, 10x your defensive effectiveness, especially with your free safety zone blitz out of dollar which is the best defense in the game if you want my full ebooks they're all on the patreon for just ten dollars link's going to be in the description the stack that we're rocking defensively right now is i'm rocking deep out zone ko and mid zone ko so all you need for this to be effective is again the better the better discount you can get on deep out or mid zone will help this but you just basically are trying to stack these two abilities on your outside cornerbacks and then on your safeties, like on your free safety and your strong safety, in a perfect world, we would have deep zone KO or deep in and mid zone or just mid zone. And that's kind of up to you. Mid zone is one of the most underrated abilities in this game, especially for your on your outside corners. When you equip mid zone, it knocks balls out that are under 20 yards. And then deep out zone knocks balls that are outside of the hash marks, not the numbers, but the hash marks. It knocks those throws out when they are over, uh, I believe, over 20 yards. So what this does is if they ever throw the ball outside of the hash marks, which most people do in Madden, they have a chance to knock the ball out. So I have two of these. I have Ryan Neal uh, with that ability stack, and then I have Bo Jackson with the same ability stack. And then the only other thing that you can do right now defensively is have a bunch of lurk artists and have one other KO. And in my opinion, the most important is to have deep end zone KO on your middle third in the defense, in the free safety zone blitz defense. So we have uh, Antoine Woodfield with deep end zone KO. What they can do to improve defense is get us another deep end zone KO. So if they could get this to be a little bit less to stack these two, maybe give us a free deep end zone KO. The card that really is going to change the game in my opinion, is if you come over here and check this out, let's see if I could find him uh, on my team. The Ty Law card, to me, can certainly uh, improve defense significantly. And the reason why is if you take a look at his, if you take a look at his abilities that he gets, he gets mid zone for three, but deep out zone KO for one. So now you're only spending four AP on this corner. If they get another guy out that's kind of similar to Ty Law's ability stack, then you would be spending eight AP on your outside corners, which would then allow you to put deep in zone KO on both of your safeties. To me, that would be helpful. Or to put deep in zone KO on one of your safeties and put a discounted mid zone KO on your other safety. Those are really the things that we're waiting for defensively. Outside of that, pretty much the game um, from a player perspective, then you basically have everything you need to be effective. Julius Peppers has 97 speed. Um, Bo Jackson, I did want to quickly point out the thing about the speed. A lot of people say, you know, speed is the most important attribute in Madden, and it is, except for ability discounts. Ryan Neal, for me, only has 95 speed. For most people, he'll have 96 speed, but that's about as high as you're going to get him unless you go 60 out of 60 playoff theme team. Then you might be able to get him to 98 speed. The bottom line is he's never been beat deep for me. I've never seen him get beat deep really for anyone. And Bo Jackson, as you can see here, he has 97 speed. So the speed threshold, again, once you hit about 97 to me, that's about top tier speed. 95, I feel like that's still slightly lower. Like if you're going, if you got Ryan Neal matched up with a 99 speed Calvin Johnson, yeah, he might win, but I haven't seen that yet. So just keep that in mind. But as far as that goes, guys, that is uh, kind of my theme team update. I'd like to get this 24 playoffs to 25 out of 25, um, but it's really not that big of a deal, honestly. And I got to get Calvin Johnson, but I got to get some coins to do that. Uh, you don't have to have Derrick Henry either. I would honestly just sell Derrick Henry and get Kelvin Johnson once we're able to buy him again. So a little update on the team, on the squad for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to get any of my full schemes, we're going to be updating all of them now that we have this quarterback card that literally changes everything in this game. So if you want to get access to the updated offensive and defensive ebooks, all of them are available by being a Patreon member for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.